Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. It is mailbag time. We have a little bit of a present to unbox and have a look at and see what we've got. So let's get straight into it. Right. This is an early pre-production proof of concept style bubble wrap thing. A worrying lack of instructions. Um, I at least like to throw away the instructions if I don't get any included, but okay. So this is the Habistax. What is a Habistax? Okay, we've got some stuff. Um, I've got three of these. One of these. Of these. And three of these. And that's it. Hmm. Okay, so that bit looks like it goes on top of that. And this bit looks like it goes in there. And that means this can go over the top of it. Like so. There you go, there's a Habistax. Thank you everyone for watching. No. So, what the hell is it? I hear you ask. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to reread everything that I've been sent about this. But like I say, it's a pre-production version of the thing. It's 3D printed at the moment. I'm sure I read something about it being injection molded when it goes into production. But it's for plants. It's for plants in a bear tank. And the reason that there's three of things is because it's modular and stackable. So however big your tank is, you can add to it and take it away and it keeps all your plants in one place. So, let's go and look at some of the literature together and then we'll show you it in a tank and see whether it does what it's meant to do. So, let's move me out of the way a little bit and we'll look at some of the material. This is what it's meant to look like or this is what it could do in your tank. So this is a bit of the product bump that they've sent me through. Um, it's obviously a planter for your fish tank. Um, if you look at here, it's giving you some of the... This is why it's great. It's I think it's USB, is that it's stackable, and even in this pre-production version, I see that working quite well. It's nice and simple, very few moving parts, if any, just the locking mechanism, which again, it's very simple, and even in 3D printed form, fairly sturdy. Fine, seems fine. Um, it's I see its main benefit, the reason I was interested is, I have lots of breeding tanks where you don't necessarily want lots of substrates, you want to keep things nice and clean, you can have this and still have plants and just take it out if it gets too much or move it around easy as you want. Um, but in a planted tank, it also gives a good way to get height into your aquascape, I guess, if you want. Um, assuming it works. But anyway, that's what it says. You can read about it here. It increases the biological media volume in your aquarium because plant load also does that. Sturdy, low maintenance, no need for wood in your hardscape, uh, reducing water. Discoloration, eh, okay, um, but this is how it works. So that's what we see. What we see here is the planter lid, which is the top piece that we talked about, the outer and inner columns, outer and inner, and then the base. So the idea here is that you fill the base with substrate, with gravel, whatever it is to hold it down. In the middle column, you have any of your high nutrient stuff. So that could be your like, proper planted aquascaping nutri soil, whatever you want in the middle, and in the outer you have your sand or gravel, and you plant your plants where you want in these little just dropped a bit, uh, these little cutout sections here, and you go as high as you want, and then the top obviously you can do the same, and you fill that with your plant media, gravel, sand, planting stuff, whatever you want, you can have plants coming out the top as well. Decent size as well. I mean, hand for comparison. 
So it's not like a tiny little thing. This will look quite chunky. And I love the fact that it can be as tall. I assume you'll be able to buy more of these. If you have a super tall aquarium, a couple of these in there look quite good. If you have a tiny little aquarium, just have one. So, so far, the theory of the product, I quite like it. I like the idea. Um, let's see how the execution does. What else does this manual say? Talks about the benefits. I think the benefits here, I haven't read this. I'm going to break them down for you now as you get to have plants in your aquarium. That should be all you need to know about it. That is a benefit in and of itself. Um, so what do you get in the box? Outer chamber, planter lid, inner chamber, we've talked about that, and the base. That's what you'll get. I don't know if you can buy this yet. Um, I'll do some Googling after this and see whether or not it is available yet or whether it's a Kickstarter or whatever it is. But like I say, this is a pre-production model. I have been provided this for free, um, but as always, I made my stipulations are I'm going to say what I want about this. I'm not going to read off a script. <laughs> I think transparency is very important, but for all and any products that I test on the channel, I always have that deal as I'm happy to promote your product if I like it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to promote it. I'm going to say it's rubbish. So they were more than happy with that, which always is a good sign for me. If they're happy to let me say what I want to say about it, that means they're confident in the product being good. So, let's see if we can find a tank that's suitable to stick this in. Here is what I think maybe one of the good ideas for this type of thing. It's a breeding tank. So, typically they're bare. Okay, this is a small one, but you can get the idea. Um, they're bare because you want to get in there and clean easily and check for eggs. So you don't want a substrate in there. You don't want lots of plants for things to get all gunked up and opportunities for problems. But if we have something like this, see if it passes the first test and doesn't float. Yay! Most of my 3D printed things, I don't print enough infill and they just float to the top. But yeah, there's the idea. You have something that just sits in there and does its thing. I don't like it. I want to move it around. I don't have to uproot things and create a massive mess. I just simply lift it out or move it away or do whatever I need to do. Perfect. So let's get it loaded up and see if it really is as simple as it appears to be. So I think the real idea here is I want to get some plant media in there, some gravel in here, and then do a bit of planting. Okay, let's try that. There we go, it's all filled. Um, I would have appreciated some instructions because there are some clear, obvious mistakes that can be made. It's, it kind of wants to be overfilled, or there's a, there is a fill line, which I didn't realise was a fill line. So I overfilled it there and couldn't get the lid on. And then I overfilled the middle of the outer layer and couldn't get that on either. So it makes sense when you know it's there, it's easy to, but a little bit of a pointer of do not fill past this line might be helpful. I'm a little concerned that these little flanges are gonna be hard to plant into. So I'm assuming these are where the plants are meant to go to and then all the images, that's where they're coming from. And the top is fine and the base is fine. I, I love the idea, I love the compactness but we'll see how easy it is to get some plants in there. I'm going to plant it dry, so out here, get some plants in, and then we'll stick it in and see how we do. But that should allow me some plants around the outside, around the top, see how we get on. So I've got a couple of different plants here. We're going to get them out planted and see how easy it is. Of course I have to interrupt this for a quick sales pitch. If you're interested in any of the plants that are used in this demonstration today, you can jump on aquariumadventure.co.uk and buy some. Started selling plants now, um, yeah, let me know.
One thing I will say about it, it's very sturdy. It hasn't come apart in any of the times that I've been moving it around. I've been quite rough with it and everything sticks together quite well. I have a thing that might be an improvement. I feel like these little ledges where you're meant to plant the plants are just maybe five mil too shallow. They need to be a little bit bigger. So if anything can be addressed before this becomes a production model, I would say these need to be a little bit wider and they're also in a row, so any plant that's on the bottom, so for here I've got some junkish repens, that's going to grow quite tall and block out these plants that are in the levels above it. So I think they should be staggered slightly if that was possible, so I have one here, one here, like a corkscrew effect, so as you had a bit more space between the levels. But other than that, I do really like the idea. It's quite difficult to get tweezers in, it was easier than I thought, but still not easy to get tweezers in here so I felt like I was forcing things to get them in here and had to do a bit of backfilling to make sure the plants will stay where they are but all in all I still really like it I like the fact that I could put this in a tank and take it out and move it to another one so this is one of the solutions or the suggestions obviously put it in a little breeding tank like this immediately a couple of bits of gravel flew out I think that looks quite good. <laughs> so in here, all I've done so far is I've got a couple of different crypts uh, and some junkish ripens. Uh, probably want them towards the back. As you can see, they're coming out a little bit, but that's no different than any other type of planting. So that's it with a few basic crypts, some junkish ripens in a small tank. And it, it fills out the tank quite well. It's not small, that's the thing. Um, it gives a fairly decent impact. And although I've used it in this scenario here, just to show you what it will look like, I can actually see a scenario where that would look good in a big tank. So you know where you've got, where you don't want to plant tanks necessarily, this would make a big um, impact in like a, a circular tank, a cylindrical tank, or even a larger tank, have a couple of these either side of the tank. You can imagine what it would be like when it grows in, obviously, Nothing I don't think looks good the day you plant it. As you can see, some of them are starting to uproot themselves a little bit, but we can sort that, we can sort that, and it's no different to anything else. So, final thoughts on this. First off, I think some instructions will come. I think that's going to be an obvious one, and I'm sure that would be part of the production runs of this, would be to have some instructions. Things like, you can, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny little ridge. Hey focus there's a tiny little ridge just there and you can't really fill it above that or you can't put the next piece on obvious now that I know that but I made the mistake and had to do a bit of clearing out these fins so the fins where the plants are meant to go it's hard again to show you exactly what I mean but up here I feel two things they should be staggered so they're not just in a row because they block out the one above it if you have a plant that's going to grow to any length um, or at least have an option for them to be staggered. Because you might want this, you might you might be going for thickness so you can't see the column and just get lots of really bushy plants coming out the way, and that would work fine. But really, they need to be the tiniest bit bigger. They're just too small to get standard sized tweezers into. Um, doable, but it's just a bit fiddly. And I think that would look really good. Obviously, I've just planted that there, but imagine if you had this as your centerpiece in a tank. Two or three of them stacked up big powerful plants coming out there top and at the base and you can just take it out if you want to do a proper deep clean that'd be great the scenarios where i see this are in things like bare bottom tanks so there's lots of like discus keepers other cichlid keepers that don't like um having anything other than a bare bottom tank that gives you the ability i've seen people in the past use like planting trays so as they can contain everything in one place that's a more elegant solution for that so i'm going to give it marks for function because I do like it I just there's a couple of tweaks that I would like to do um, how much would you pay for it I don't know let me know in the comments what do you think I can't find it on Amazon or anywhere like that so it's obviously not gone to market yet but I like the idea um, I've just noticed now that if I stack it they do actually stagger so that's going three 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 and then it goes off to the side three 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 
So that's quite good. So maybe they have thought about that and that's the solution there. But maybe in the future if we could have different sections, so if you do only want to use it in a small tank, you've got the option to stagger these. Um, but yeah, definitely give it marks for ingenuity and it's the kind of thing that I'd love to have a go at 3D printing myself and I would get something that looked like this after a lot, a lot, a lot of trial and error. But if they take this to market and it is injection moulded and a little bit more refined, it's going to be good. I love the idea of the central column with your highly packed nutrients that all the roots try to get to and then just the normal substrate around the outside. Yeah, it's great. I wish I thought of it. Um, how much would you pay for one? That's the key question. I think... Uh, I don't know. I'm worried that they're going to come out to market with a price like £150 or something like that. I, I don't see it that, but if it is more affordable, I can see this being a good solution to aquascaping on a budget, because you could get a load of plants in there and it would look really good. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I suspect a lot of people like me will love the idea, and if these tweaks can be made, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to know what kind of price point you'd be interested in something like this. I love the fact that it's modular, that it stacks, that you can configure it in different ways. It's kind of 99% there in my eyes. So yeah, happy I've got one. Might be interested in buying one when they come out for real. If you like this kind of thing, you know where the buttons are, they're down there, give them a click. Come and see me on a Friday night, 9pm UK time, every week we do a live stream. It's quizzes, say hello, ask me any questions you want. Have a generally good time. But until then, thanks for joining me, see you in the next one. Bye! A green thing, with different parts growing. Those things, plants! God, dementia sets in. <sighs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you today. Hello everybody, well it's a breeding tank, it's a small one, but it'll use the it'll work to show you the uh. So here is what I, I don't know. Let me know in the description what you in the description. No, you don't get to write the description, I do that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Discus teepers discus no bit of course, I have to interrupt this to let you know if you want to try any of those plants that I've bought. Of course, I have to interrupt. It's good proper proportions. Pro it's easy for me to say. It's good proper. Pro it's good. It's very porous. It